Hi, this is Jason, uh, also known as Mr. The Big Man. Just here today to show you how to make some fairly lazy beats in Ableton Live. I'm just going to drag a few beats out onto the stage itself. You really want to go for sort of separate hits and really allow the program to write the beat for you. Uh, so as you notice, we've got the hat, the kick, and the snare. I just want to double click on the hat and bring up the details in the bottom page. I'll show you that in a wee moment. First, we want to select them all. Okay, so you'll notice at the bottom here then, uh, this is where we really do all the work. We click on the L button that brings up the launch panel. Here, um, the follow action panel really just sets this up so that whenever we press play on one of the beats, it'll play and then it'll pick another one um, to play directly afterwards, never playing the same beat twice, well usually anyway. Um, so we set that to zero. Uh, zero zero one because we obviously want it to start from the start. Then I need to choose the order of the actual um, plan itself. Um, generally, I would do any. Um, you can do other different ones, but any usually works fairly well. So just scroll it back up to the top of the page, and you'll see what I mean. So we click play on any of these beats. You get to hear them following each other. So that pretty much has written your beat for you. Um, now we're going to go across the, we're going to actually record the beats. They show you a handy wee function called consolidate. Um, so if you click on the record function at the top um, and just click any beat. So you'll notice again it's then the beat is fairly random. But you'll notice now that it's actually writing the beat directly to the arrange page. press and stop. We'll make this a wee bit uh, bigger so we can actually see the beat itself. So as you can see it's all made up of the different files as denoted by the different colours the file names. So we basically just want to consolidate these beats. Um, so really we just select it from bar 9 and just pretty much select everything that's on there. This takes me a minute and then you right click and select consolidate and as you'll notice now, it's made it completely one beat. Don't worry about the name or anything like that, it's all grand. It's just a case of going through the beat itself and uh, finding all the bits that do actually work and then you can basically arrange them all separately and start writing a bass line and get them in there.